Hello and welcome to more Penny Dreadful. We just got into a new Penny Dreadful season. If you're not familiar with what Penny Dreadful is, there's a bunch of links in the description. Essentially, it's a format where all cards cheaper than two cents on Magic Online are legal. And it cycles every couple months, roughly when a new set comes out. And that just happened. So we have all these brand new cards and the format looks awesome. So many exciting things to build. I've started with this beautiful mana curve here, the, the double column. It is perfectly symmetric, the 1616 mana costs, <laughs> which I'm pretty proud of. Anyway, uh, the deck is Fires of Invention is legal, which is kind of insane, alongside Fey of Wishes. So the main combo there is you just play Fires of Inventions, get Fey of Wishes, get cool things from your sideboard, and win the game by casting big spells. That's step one. But there's actually a combo here that's kind of ridiculous. Fey of Wishes and all adventure creatures have this ability where you cast them as a spell, they go to exile, and then they're in exile and not your hand, and then you can play them from exile. So this can be played as a two mana, one four flying for two mana. That seems like not that big of a deal, but we have world fire in our sideboard. And this says exile all permanents, exile all cards from all hands and graveyards. Each, player life's, each player's life total becomes one. And with uh, Fires of Invention out, we can make the play of Fae of Wishes. We cast granted for four mana. We get a non-creature card from outside the game. This is our first spell for the turn. Then we cast World Worldfire as our second spell for the turn. Fires of Invention says you can only cast two spells per turn. But Worldfire actually exiles the Fires of Invention. Everything in hand, everything in play, you float two mana because you cast this without spending mana on it. And now Fires of Invention is gone, so now you can cast as many spells as you want. You have two mana, nothing in hand, but Fae of Wishes in, is in exile. You spend two mana, you cast a 1-4. Worldfire puts their life total down to one, and then you just attack them with the Fae Wishes when they have nothing in play. It's so awesome and seems broken, so I'm very excited to try it out. Most of the deck is there to facilitate that initial win game plan. That's like our game one game plan because it seems really strong. So I'm excited to see what happens. The downside is you need nine lands in play. So the rest of our deck is essentially focused around getting nine lands in play so you can make this combo happen. We have four Explore, four Farseek, four Nature's Lore. Um, Farseek and Nature's Lore get lands of basic types, uh, Nature's Lore specifically getting forests. So we have a lot of forests with Sheltered Thicket, uh, Scattered Groves, some of the new Snow-Covered uh, Enters Taps duels work really well with Nature's Lore. So we can fix a bunch of our mana colors, and then also we have a lot of cycling lands. Sheltered Thicket cycles for two, Scattered Groves cycles for two, and Canyon Slough cycles for two. So cycling for two is really good with Fires of Invention because you don't spend mana to cast spells. So like if you have all these lands in hand, you can cycle them and it's not too big of a deal. So we're actually running a pretty high land count of 27. That's just, we want to hit nine lands in play. So we're running a lot. And then we have all these mana grabbers so that ideally we mulligan so that we can go turn two accelerant and then cast a four drop on turn three. Ideally that four drop will be fires and then we can go like fires into one of our other good four drops. And then from there, you know, we go and win the game. Uh, the other four drops, new one, Binding of the Old Gods. It's kind of like a Vindicate that can't hit land, but this also grabs forests, and that helps with us. It's like, destroy their thing, search for land, put it into play. Dovin Bond, a new, well, it's not new, but it's newly legal in Penny Dreadful. It's so good. It uh, shrinks creatures and stops activated abilities, which is relevant. There's a lot of like creature-based combos. And then he just down takes to draw cards and gain life. So he's good against burn, Good against creatures and just stays in play and wins. Chandra Pyromancer can ping down creatures and then can exile the top card. Ideally, you're just hitting lands and playing them or drawing into Fey of Wishes. Then we have one Chandra the Firebrand. This is nice because you can double spell, um, particularly good with Fey of Wishes or if we get like Beacon of Tomorrow's or Karn's Temporal Sundering and take two turns, that's just disgusting. And then uh, some board wipes in the main. We might need more. This is kind of... I'm, I'm trying the first build of this deck as more combo focused just to see how reliable that is. And then if, you know, if we get run over my creatures, we can always just put more copies of Shadow of the Sky and Sweltering Suns in the main deck and change up our configuration. But right now it feels like this could be okay because we can actually combo off pretty quickly. Um, yeah, that's the main deck. The sideboard is just a bunch of Fae of Wishes targets. Mostly we have two Thought Distortion and this is for control decks. You get it with Fae of Wishes, can't be countered. They reveal their hand, XL all non-creature non-land cards from that hand, and Graveyard. This also hits Graveyards, so this combos as our uh, heat against Dredge and things like that, because it exiles their hand in Graveyard, which is really nice. We have two of those because in the requisite matchups, we're going to bring in one into the main and keep one in the sideboard. Same with Worldfire, just so that in some matchups, you know, if they like counter Fae of Wishes, we still have 
the ability to just draw Worldfire. Uh, we have two Time Walks. Carnage Temple Sundering only good, is good if you have a Planeswalker, but the idea is you can cast the Time Walk on six, bounce your Fae of Wishes back to your hand, cast Fae of Wishes, get Beacon of Tomorrows, and then go from there and just like tinkle your, the turns. Um, Blooded Tears is the same way, bounce all permanents to hand, and then if you control, if you return four or more things to hand, you can put something into play. So that can like reset Fae of Wishes and things like that. Urza's Rune is Blast. If you have a Planeswalker in play, five mana, exile everything. Seems pretty good. <laughs> so I like that. Shadow of the Sky, more removal. Gideon's Intervention is a catch-all. Uh, and then we have Merciless Eviction is another catch-all. Exile a bunch of things. If you're behind on cards or mana, Escape to the Wilds does both. Violent Ultimatum, sweet card. And then we have Mind Slaver, another really good combo with uh, Fires of Invention because you don't actually have to spend mana to cast it. So if you just have six lands in play, you can just cast this for free. Take your opponent's turn. This is really good against a lot of the combo decks because you could just like make them kill themselves. And then Sorcerer Spyglass is a good catch-all against a lot of things. Again, this is a brand new format, so I don't really know what to expect. I'm just bringing a lot of things. But that's the deck. I'm super excited about it. We're just going to jump into a full league, and we'll see how it does. See you guys around one. All right, we're playing against Not Good. Uh, this person plays a lot of Popper, and I think they have a podcast. I think it's Zimplify. Check out their podcast. I'll link it in the description somewhere. But uh, playing against them, really cool person. And uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. We're on the draw, which is not amazing, but we have Nature's Lore, which can get the red mana we need. Oh no! <laughs> they see all the secrets. I'm gonna give them a frowny face. I don't like it. The spice. They don't even know the spice. All the spices in the sideboard. Oh, they're playing, um... Yeah, I'm guessing they're playing Oops All Lands, which our deck is okay against. I'm actually gonna lead... Do I want to lead with Hinterland Harbor? Yes. Yes, I do. I don't think there's any punishment for playing basic or non-basics. I could be very wrong, but I might also just die right here. If they just play Undercity Informer and do it, uh, I don't really want to show them my... Oh no, they're milling themselves. Alright, we get to see their deck. So they grab Narc Amoeba. Look at the cards. Okay, Narc Amoeba, Balagad, yeah. So they don't have any lands in their deck. And then that ability mills them. They get Narc Amoebas, which then lets them Dread Return for Angel of Glory's Rise. Angel of Glory's Rise, enters the battlefield, exile zombies, return all human creature cards from your graveyard. Then they get back Laboratory Maniac and a Zombie Lady of Scrolls, I think. Um, Laboratory Maniac and a Zombie being... Yeah, that'll do it. They do that, they have no cards in... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, I was not prepared for this deck. This seems like a relatively easy one to like sideboard for, but this deck seems very good. Alright, how do I sideboard against this? Sorcerer's Spyglass? Doesn't really stop it because they, I can name a zombie, but then they just win on their upkeep. I don't have any instant speed interaction, so this might actually be my worst matchup. Plot distortion at six mana is just way too slow. So I think we just run it as it is in the main deck and hope for the best. The double dark ritual is pretty brutal. All right, we're going to keep this. This is as accelerated as it can get. We can't really beat a deck that can win on turn one with the current configuration. I think if we had, there's like Relic and things like that, we could bring in like a one mana way to stop graveyards. That might be worth dedicating like four sideboard slots for, because if I'm on the play and I mulligan until I hit uh, Graveyard Hate, then I'm in good shape, because what does their deck do against that? They mulled the six, okay. I just realized that all my lands intertapped, which is kind of brutal, but it is what it is. Okay, tap land, and it's not a swamp, which is also good, but mine is also tapped, which is pretty rough, but we get to go nature's lore into a land and then cast farseek so it should be relatively quick a wild cantor yeah we might die next turn nature's lore for an untapped forest play rootbound craig play farseek and that's going to give us blue green yeah go so they're probing i think i might be dead if they have undercity informer and dark ritual that is enough to kill me and i actually need an untapped land to be able to Fae of Wishes for Sorcerer Spyglass. Oh, I can Spyglass the Undercity Informer. That's what I need. I needed an untapped land there. Um, yeah, one mana short. If I could Spyglass, I'd be in such good shape. But I don't have the mana for it. Because it's four to cast Fae and then two to play the Spyglass. So we're going to cast Explore. See what comes out of it. There you are. If I had that... Like one turn earlier. I don't really want to let them know what I'm going to Fae of Wishes for. Do I? I mean, I'm so close to just dead. 
Oh, because I need black. Yeah, let's just far seek again. Grabbing this one. No, Canyon Slew. Go ahead. And if they somehow don't kill me this turn, I can do it. I was one land short of being able to stop them. Yeah. I was so close. Yeah, GG's. Alright, yeah, so they, they just mill me out. Alright, see you guys next round. All right, we're playing against Kirasath. They say they're a huge fan. Smokestacks with my first Penny Dreadful deck. I loved that deck. It was like Black Braids and Smokestack in a, in a really fast shell. It was awesome. I'm going to keep this hand. We're on the draw. Winning die rolls with this deck would be huge, but we do get to go Island, Hinterland, Harbor, Nature's Lore for a Forest, getting untapped Sun Petal Groves. <laughs> they tried it with a Sundial. Oh, geez, that's spicy. Ripbone Craig. Okay. Um, I suppose it makes sense to lead with this tapped first. Because I can always play Island. I don't actually know what the sequencing there is. Island bluffs like four spike and it tells them less information. So maybe that makes more sense. I just, my la- er, I don't know what I'm saying. Blood Artist. Oh, I think I should be good against Blood Artist decks. I hope I am. Like we got Dovin Bond things going on. Nature's Lore for a forest. And what forest do we need? We have blue, green, white, so we need black. So let's just get Woodland Chasm. Next turn we can play Dovin Bond. And either lock down the Blood Artist, we can play Binding the Old Gods, Kill Blood Artist. We'll see, they're mono black though. Midnight Reaper. I think we're just going to kill the Midnight Reaper here. Well, do I care about Midnight Reaper? Activated abilities can't be activated, but it can still have triggered abilities. We go Sun Puddle Grove. I think I want to kill Midnight Reaper. We can limit their abilities to do things. And this ramps us over time. So this, they draw a card, we lose a life. When it says, tried your five color pox, but it loses to cleansing wildfire. <laughs> I added basics. I added basics later on to my pox deck. Grave Pact does nothing against me, which is very exciting. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh, wait, I can't cast Chandra. I'm <laughs> so far from casting Chandra. Um, let's get... Well, we can play Dovin Bond, and that's fine. Then we can Chandra next turn. So let's get Rhymewood Falls, I think. Now let's get more black mana. Do that. Play Dovin. Dovin's going to draw us a card. Draw another Dovin. That's a lot of Dovins. We'll play Sheltered Thicket. And the next turn we can Rootbound Craig into Chandra here. But most of their last season trying to make Pardic Miner substitute for Sulfatar and Turfoon from the Pauper deck. Blue Panda. I don't know what those, co those cards are. I know what Sulfatar and Turfoon are and those cards are sweet. I don't know what Pardic Miner is though. But I'm always down for some Blue Panda. Bastion of Remembrance. Three mana. Enter the battlefield. Create a human soldier. Okay, so they're really trying to, like, have creatures in play, and then when they die, start nugging me, but Chandra Pyromancer on Blood Artist is going to be a kind of a tough situation for them. I think they should attack with Blood Artist to assert their dominance. Double Blood Artist. Okay, that's getting a little bit sketchier. Canyon Slew. So my creatures gain Death Touch. That's definitely something. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So let's uptick Dovin Bond on the Human Soldier. That way they can't attack me for damage. And then we Chandra and kill a Blood Artist. We take two. That's fine. And I think I want to cycle this Canyon Slew. Oh, I take three, actually. Okay. I suppose I should have cycled Canyon Slew before doing anything. It's generally advisable to do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Relentless Blood Artist into Witch's Oven. Okay. I almost want to down take Jovin now to gain life. But they have no cards in hand. Yeah, we're we're doing this. Rhymewood Falls. I mean, honestly, we're just in a good position as it is, so not really that worried. Um, yeah, I can do this because they can only attack me for one right now. There's the Fey of Wishes. So Chandra is gonna kill a blood artist here. They sack it for a food. And I guess I just mind slaver them. That's this. Three, four, use the ability for sure. What are we grabbing? I can just shatter the sky and clear their board. I don't really know what to be scared of, to be honest. I think I'm just going to grab Karn's Temporal Sundering and then play a Rhymewood Falls in past turn. Gutter Bones, okay. So they can actually sack Gutter Bones and then like attack and then bring Gutter Bones back. Ooh, and there's Fires, which I think I'm okay casting. I'm also okay with them knowing about it. Let's Chandra, them, and the Blood Artist, though. We'll start there. They didn't use Witch's Oven. 
then we play this, and we down tick. I take an extra turn, we'll bounce their Grave Pact, I guess. The idea is normally you want to bounce and uh, get back your Bay of Wishes, but we can't do that. Sweltering Suns, that'll help. Play that. Go ahead, or my turn again. Explore, so let's cast Sweltering Suns. I don't know why I floated mana, but I did. But we killed the gutter bones. Feels alright to me. And let's Chandra zero. Ooh, and then we can cast Granted with Fires of Invention. Easy ability, yes. And how how do we want to win? I don't really want them to know about the World Fire combo, but let's demonstrate it. Let's grab World Fire. Play Sun Funnel Grove and pass turn. <laughs> I'm excited about this. This actually gives us a chance of losing, but it's more fun. Yeah, let's do this. Float some mana. Cast World Fire. Cast Fae of Wishes. Cast Fae of Wishes. Get him! <laughs> yeah! Oh, that feels good. Oh, by my way, it's actually my birthday, which is kind of insane that I got to play against you. Happy birthday! Oh, Jocko Hops is legal too? That would be fun. I, I had um Obliterate, which is uncounterable for a while. All right, so they're playing like random creatures. I mean, this deck doesn't really sideboard, right? No. All right, run it back. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this hand. Is it uh, Chandra's so good against them? Binding the old gods so good against them? I'm gonna get thought seized, and then I'm gonna take my nature's lore, and then I'm gonna take like a million turns to do anything. But that's okay. Double binding of the old gods means the late game gives me some hope of winning. Um, in fact, maybe they just take Chandra because their deck has a, such a hard time against it. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, they also could have another Duress, and then they take Nature's Lore with Duress. That would make some sense to me. Let's play this one. Um, that gives us access to the most colors, turn two. Yikes. Okay, they hit. Good cards, but we are in okay shape. Him to Torak is always a beating. Do this with Nature's Lore. Or, I think I want green-black, so I have blue, that. I'm going to play red next turn. So yeah, let's get green-black, and that way... Any untapped land lets me play Binding the Old Gods immediately. Witch's Oven, sure. Okay, Witch's Oven and nothing I'm good for. Farseek was pretty good too. Let's play that. And this time we have Green Black. I guess I'm going to get a Canyon Slough. No, I'll get Rhymewood Falls. I, um, I would prefer to draw my cycling lands now. So I'm just tutoring up the lands that are always tapped. Like how we finally get something to get with Farseek. Yeah. I love the new gates and we're gonna kill the demon because that's a lot of damage and i get to go fires into binding destroying the demon one two three four five um i think i'm actually what do i want to do here i tutor up a land next turn i can play or cycle this i think i'm gonna wait f6 mishaps yeah they miss out on a food that's not the biggest deal unless they have the cats okay dovin bond's insane so that's good and i get a forest Grabbing Rhymewood, play Dovenbon, draw a card, cycle this, cycle this. And that's why I didn't tutor up the Canyon Slew before. Okay, now I play this. Go ahead. So, can down tick Doven, but then he dies. I can uptick, and that's pretty good. I wonder what my opponent has in hand. I mean, now they have a bunch of like him to Torox and Duresses in their deck, which are just going to be dead draws. Oh, another Doven seems good. Let's down tick Doven. Cycle this. There's Fae of Wishes. Um, okay. What am I getting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cast this with fires. I guess I'm just gonna take an extra turn, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I don't have enough mana to wildfire. I can violent ultimatum. I can grab Flood of Tears, actually. That seems decent. No, because I can't cast that and granted. Mm, I guess I'll just grab Worldfire. There's really no rush, right? I'm one mana off, so we can play Dovenbon. Keeping this one, stopping their thing from doing a thing. Go ahead. They discard my Worldfire, that's bad, but next turn, any land wins. I have one two drop on banking on, but pretty sure it will just die. There's the Fae. GG's no pack rat to save the day. They did run. <laughs> GG's.
So I wasn't talking back so quick. It's it's hard for me to type given my current setup and I'm here to commentate. So if I'm ever playing against you and I'm not responding as quickly as you'd like, I'm sorry, but I'm kind of talking to you in the video. Anyway, this deck performed fantastically. See you guys next round. All right, we're playing against JXT2. We get to be on the play and our hand seems good. Any hand that has Fae of Wishes is like pretty good because like all of our actions in the sideboard, which is sweet because they can't really disrupt that from us. Um, one way our deck can easily lose is if our opponent plays something that like um, exiles cards from our deck. Like if they exile all the fave wishes and then <laughs> can we win? I guess we can win by upticking Chandra's or beating down with fave wishes. It's it would be hard for our main deck to win though. Next turn we're gonna go Forest Explore. Ooh, I like seeing planes. That's got to be good for us. That's a lot of explorers. Right, let's play explore. Play scattered groves. Ooh, okay. So now when he land is binding of the old gods, we can also go nature's lore into explore if we want to get a basic. I'm probably going to get a island or an island. Secret of the way. Okay, let's try and kill that. Untap land. Nature's lore. Ooh, this is nice. So we get to go nature's lore for a forest. And then nature's lore for a tap land. And I want blue. Let's get rhyme wood. Go. And we still would like to draw an untapped land for explorer purposes. Uh-oh. This is why we wanted to kill the seeker. If I just get like quadruple defiant strike, don't it be sad? The life gain doesn't matter, but the damage does. Favored hoplite. Okay. So they're playing heroic. I'm less excited because Heroic can generate some pretty big creatures, but I have two of these, so all is good. I'm not going to get greedy and um, play Explore. I could, if I hit an untapped land, will be good, but we'll kill this. They could have like a Protect spell and that would be bad, but I don't want to cast that on the Favored, or target the Favored Hoplite because they can save their guy via Heroic. Yeah, God's willing. Not great. Um, we might be in just cast Fae of Wishes as a blocker territory pretty soon. No, actually, it makes more sense just to fave wishes for a board wipe. So we're going to get, when we get our land, it's going to be a green white because our board wipe Shatter the Sky is uh, double white. They have Cartouche. Yeah, we might die. Jeez. Okay, that's, that's a good start. So I take nine, and then I think this is just permanently a five, six. So that's seven. If they don't have a protection spell, there's a chance that I can get there. So this is going to grab scattered groves. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Basically, I'm deciding what I need to do. I can fave wishes for a two drop. I can't really do anything with those. Um, I really need shatter the sky. Do this. I guess I can explore and then binding the old gods just to see what I hit. Hopefully a land. Dovin bond. That's just worse than binding. If, um... They have another protection spell, we're just super dead. But right now I'm only taking four this turn. Okay, we're dead. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, the Johnny's presence, they're, I mean, that's the perfect draw. Um, not too much in far as sideboarding goes, because I like having Shadow of the Sky in the sideboard. So we'll just run it back. We just need uh, more mana quickly, because they can't really protect themselves from Urza's Runous Blast or anything. Go first. Uh, this hand is sketchy. If I draw lands, we're good, and my deck is full of lands, but I need to draw, like, two lands. I think I can mulligan this. But yeah, this hand's way better. All right now I'm just deciding what to put back, and I think it's going to be Farseek. Yeah, we keep this. I think I do put back Farseek. It's just, like, slower than a land here. We'll play the one that always enters tapped. No one drop is good. Ooh, and we draw a forest, so I get to go explore. Rootbound Craig. Okay, let's play Scattered Groves, because now a blue source off the top lets us cast Dovin Bond. Most likely next turn we're in Nature's Lore for a blue source, and then cycle a Sheltered Thicket. Point of doing nothing is great for me. Second Dovin Bond's also fine, I guess. Let's Nature's Lore, or Rhyme Wood, play Rootbound Craig, cycle this. Another Rootbound Craig, okay. Um, no creatures from them so far is huge. Seeker of the way. Okay, so I can go uh, Dovin Bond, this blue, something around, I don't know, double mana tithe or something. <laughs> and I think I'm just going to uptick on Seeker of the way. And then we far seek. 
Because if I don't take on Dovenban, he just immediately dies. This way, like, if they want to kill them, they have to spend so many spells. And then that's spells that aren't going to do anything. Oh, gosh, they have God's Willing. Okay. Well, now he's just dead to a single Defiant Strike. It's funny, God's Willing shouldn't be that good against my deck. But it is here. Protection from Black? Okay. That must have been a misclick. Very weird. <laughs> I'm not complaining, though. Um, we have Black, we have Blue... Given that I have Dovin Bond, I think I'm going to get another Mind Woodfalls, though. So they have to cast four spells to power this up enough to hit Dovin Bond. Sentinel's Eyes, plus one plus one in his Vigilance. Sure. So now I think we just need to hit Fae of Wishes and then grab um, the thing that just says Exile All Creatures. Another Dovin Bond. That's a lot of Dovin Bond. We draw number four. There's Fae. Okay. Granted, cast that. One, two, three, four... The ability, yes. Um, I have seven mana right now. Urza's Ruinous Blast is somewhat of a pipe dream. Blood of Tears is interesting, but a little bit slow. Shadow of the Sky is fine, but they do have a Johnny's Protection, so I would like Exile. So I guess I just get Merciless Eviction and hit Exile all creatures. And then I'll just cast my Fate Wishes to block. Because now they're torn. They could spend like all their turn killing my Dovin Bond, but then I have two more and the beautiful thing is i don't even have to cast merciless eviction i can just let it go through we're gonna block here okay that was a good play by them they get to defiant strike kill my guy kill dovin bond but fave wishes is gonna get hit by merciless eviction anyway scattered grove so let's play this four five six cast exile all creatures i don't know if they know what indestructible does but that's fine <laughs> this is why we got exile. This opponent must be new to the deck. Then I'm just going to play this as a land, I think. It's possible I like Dovin Bond into a big spell. The Link's Leader, whenever you cast a spell that targets it, put a counter on each creature. They can bring back Sentinel's Eyes. Okay. The major thing is that I'm at 22 life. Dovin Bond. Uptick here. Play our land. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So now we have 9 mana. We Basically, if we find Fires of Intervention, we can win when we hit Fave Wishes. Remetra's Blessing. Target creature gets plus 2, plus 2 and end of turn. Alright. 3 damage at Dovin. Alright, Farseek is fine. So let's go Farseek. Thin our deck a little bit. I regret uh, not cycling that land. Grab the tapped lands. And I think we're going to downtick this Dovin. And then uptick this Dovin. It's hard to imagine them doing four. We'll see though. <laughs> That's three damage. As long as they don't have another thing that targets it to kill Dovin Bond, I'll be happy. They do? Come on. All right. Well, now we're in trouble. Because Dovin Bond is dead, and I didn't get to draw a card off of him. Swift Warkite sent me a message. <laughs> there it is. All right, we'll play Fires. Well, now any fave wishes off the top is instantly a win, which is nice. Man, this is rough. My opponent, no offense to them, but they did misplay quite a bit, and I'm still just going to get destroyed by that. <laughs> I have, I think, three turns to hit a fave wishes, though. Okay. Okay, that's good, actually. Black, white. That gives me a lot more time. Binding the old gods. I guess I don't need to spend mana on it. Kill their 6-6. Six, six. They can get back Sentinel's Eyes, but that still slows them down a lot. And we're we're just kind of all in on Fae of Wishes at this point. We even get to thin our deck with Binding the Old Gods, which is huge. Take five, so I get two more turns? Chandra Pyromancer, okay. So this is the only one that doesn't cycle. Chandra's going to die immediately, but she does gain me life. I guess I keep trying to spend mana on these. Cast this with fires. So the top card, you may play it. All right, can't even cycle it either. That's the brutal part. So her ability basically did nothing because I was just going to draw and cycle that anyway. Oh, they drew Karmich's... Uh, okay, I think I only have one turn now because that makes their team huge. And that guy is big enough to kill Chandra on his own. So I take three and then they have more. Am I dead? Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, man, I was really close to getting there. Maybe they still kill Chandra. No, they figured it out. Yeah, that's brutal. Just a little bit of rough draws. 
Will's the top card. Farseek, Weltering Suns. So I was going to draw Farseek. I guess I would have cast it and shuffled, but we were a ways away. See you guys next round. All right, we're playing against Wyzark. Um, we're going to go first. Yeah, this hand's good, right? Yeah, I have a uh, Rhymewood Falls into Rootbound Craig or Hinge of Land Harbor. Then I can Farseek for Black Mana to set up for Binding the Old Gods, which will get a Forest, which then I can cast Chandra. Okay, we figured it out. Hello, Porn, good luck, have fun, as always. I like this deck. This deck's a lot of fun. I have not uh, done the combo yet. I don't... No, I think I have. When it says good luck, have fun. Swamp, don't you dare duress. It's actually not even that bad if they do. Just kind of feels bad. Scattered Groves. Okay, so... Yeah, we want to play Rootbound Craig into Farseek. Or Canyon Slew, and that lets me play either... Binding or Chandra, depending on what my opponent does. This is him to Torok. Oh no. Okay, they hit my untapped mana. Not the end of the world, but it's brutal. It made my turn a lot slower, but as long as I can get down to Chandra against the black deck, I should feel a little bit safe. Dried Militant. I don't care about that one. Chandra can kill that actually too, which is good. Virtual Library for Forest or Plains card, reveal it and put it in your hand. Now I'm confused. <laughs> I mean, it's the first day of the format, right? I've never seen this card before. I guess it's just good fixing. Like, if you want to run a lower man account. I am confused why they're running snow-covered plains and basic swamps, though. Maybe just to get me. So here we get to run out Chandra. Killing Dryad Militant. Playing a land. And that feels good. That's like an undo him to Torok. Tide Hollow Scholar. Ah, I don't like that. Because they hit Binding, and then I guess I still have Fey of Wishes. They take Fey of Wishes. That's interesting. Um, let's zero in on Chandra. Out of the sky, sure. I can't actually play it. I don't have double white, right? You have to spend mana. Yeah, all right. Well, unfortunate, but I guess I'm glad I didn't draw that. Play this. Build a Scholar. Play Woodland Chasm. Pass turn. I think that was genuinely the only hit in my deck that I couldn't cast. Although, yeah, no, Sweltering Suns I could cast. That was the worst possible hit. Can I just talk about how much I love these snow tap lands? It's just, it feels so nice to have, like, getting a card with a forest type not be bad now. It's awesome. Blood Chief's Thirst killing Chandra. Sure. You don't love it, but you'll take it. Winterland Harbor getting a land. One, two, three. Um, what do I want to grab here? More blue, more black. We'll get more black. And we're going to fave wishes for, for the ability, yes. We're going to grab Escape to the Wilds, I think. And do I want to cast the Fae of Wishes this turn? It does gain Death Touch. Yeah, I'll cast the Fae. They play Soren. They get back Tide Hollow Skuller. Okay, that's getting bad. Goodbye, Escape to the Wilds. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm one mana short of being able to go too crazy with fires. Is it even worth it attacking Soren here? I don't think so. He's just going to keep upticking. He can bring back Dried Militant. Wait, Soren's really good. Holy cow. Yeah, I think I'm better off just stalling. So we need a land and then a Fey, and then we can win. Or some way to bounce my Fey to hand. Okay. I'm going to block. There's so many cards I don't know what are in this format. Like, this attack makes no sense to me, but they could have something. <laughs> I literally have no idea what it could be. Distribute. <laughs> sure. Fair enough. I'm going to not, you know, I'm going to play into those now until I see those effects because I've never seen those things before. Chandra is actually pretty bad here, but I can cast her without. But at least she, like, can help me dig deeper. Sure. Play land. So Chandra just gains me life. Um, the land is good though, because now Fae of Wishes is lethal if I draw it. And I exiled Shattered the Sky, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Classic. Seed Rhino is legal. Oh, that changes things. I think I have one turn, right? That's 8, 9, 10. Yeah. Alright, deck. Fey. Explore means I can't actually win this turn. Yeah, I just die now. Alright. Game 2. I think my deck needs more main deck board wipes. I'm getting uh, 
kind of run over by creatures, but that's something that I can change up. We'll run it back. I'm gonna go first. Okay, I mean, this hand is good against discard heavy hands because it just has like accelerants and mana, and then I can draw my spells later. And there's binding. Okay, I mean, this, this is what we asked for. Let's play Farseek. So I have all of the things I need double white. So I'm gonna get scattered groves. I also need double red though for Chandra. I think I'm more likely to want double red here. So let's get Canyon Slough. Because I can get white with Nature's Lore. It's harder to get red. Oh no, it's the same. But I don't think it matters what I get. That's what I'm saying. Him to Torok. They always have it turn two. Okay. That took my blue mana away, which I don't love. Explore. Maybe Wishes is nice. Play, play. Go. Just play something I can binding. Oh, it's going to be Tide Hollow, isn't it? You're pre Ooh, that's good. That explains their Find Forests card, actually. Or Dried Militant, yeah. Now the question is, do I... What do I do here? I don't have blue mana for Fae of Wishes, so I actually do have to binding for blue. Yeah, they killed my blue mana. That's pretty rough, actually. So we can kill Hero. Go ahead. And then I get blue, but then it's slow, and then I'm still missing double white. Yeah, this is bad. And Tide Hollow takes my best card. Yep. All right, deck. Show me what you got. Nature's Lore. Give me a forest. I don't have any untapped blue mana, though, is the problem. Um, but we're going to get Rhymewood Falls here. And then Nature's Lore for a second white mana. And now I can play basically every card in my deck. Man, Soren's good. Their deck is nice. They get back hero. So I need uh, a board wipe. <laughs> like very badly. I think this deck needs way more board wipes in the main. Because basically I can stabilize pretty well. But the problem is like I end up playing a planeswalker. And then I just have to immediately have it die. Um, I don't even want to cycle this. Do I? I guess I have some two drops I could hit. But I also have things that I could hit that then they could take from my hand. I'm going to cycle it. Okay, yeah, that's... You get Farseek, which is good, but also bad. We have more blue. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So I have the mana, but I think I'm just going to die because I guess I can always Fey of Wishes for Shatter this guy, getting back Fey of Wishes. So I have four live draws now. But it's got to be this turn. Lore limits my live draws. <laughs> I'm always one mana short. I, oh, that's so frustrating. Because I can fave wishes here, but then I only have three mana instead of four for Shatter the Sky. Aye, aye, aye. All right, see you guys next round. Oh, right, we're playing against Neil Bombay G, and we're going to go first. Uh, Yeah, ooh, ooh, this hand's good. This hand's actually really nice. I like this. Teleport, good luck, have fun. We get the old, uh, well, I need to draw lands, but we, we can turn two Farseek. As long as I draw a land in, like, the top two or three cards in my deck will be fine we need to play canyon slew this is just good deck building here canyon slew makes it so that root bond craig enters untapped that's that's what we call a combo um but as soon as i get four lands then i can go like fires into chandra i'm saving explore so that i can down tick chandra and double explore probably Ooh, and they're playing a mana elf oh all right we're playing against um cloud post i love this card it's like so good it's Single green, look at the top five. Yeah, they're definitely playing against Cloud Post. But I don't think Ugin is in the four man, it's just random colorless creatures. Sparseek. I have double red. And I have black, so let's grab Rhymewood Falls. Next turn. Um, next turn, if I draw an untapped land, I can go Fires into Chandra, and that's going to be huge. If I don't, then I can go Nature's Lore into Farseek, which is also pretty good. And Alchemist Vial is fine with me. Are they playing like Cloud Post? eggs <laughs> that's a, a kind of an odd card to see okay so that does enter tapped but it's not the end of the world so we go nature's lore gets a basic forest this is this is what the deck wants to do then we far seek and i guess this deck this wants us to get white mana now so we can grab a scattered groves and play this and the next turn we can go off and by go off i mean just cast this card we haven't really played that card much 
Oh, that explains the uh, alchemist vial. Okay. What are they exiling? Sleeper dart. They are playing cloud post eggs. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm scared now. My opponent's living the dream too. Oh no. What the heck? <laughs> okay. This is awesome. I love this deck. I think I kind of just misjudged how combo heavy Penny Dreadful would be. If I had more sweepers in my deck, we would have no trouble winning, I think. Because I could just go like fires into more Shadow to the Skies, kill their Metalworks, and then go off. They get to play three Metalwork Colossus on turn three. <laughs> what? They had all four? They didn't even need to tutor them up. They just had all four. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we, you just had all four in hand. All right. I mean, that's the dream. I'll let them. No, we're just gonna concede. I'll see. I'll let them kill me. But like that, that's insane. I had one of my dream starts. I was gonna like do things turn four, but my opponent put forty power in play. Okay, run it back. I think more of these is what I need. Um, because I just died at creatures, and if I just had like three in the main, one in the side, I, sweltering suns feels pretty medium i don't think i've really seen it or played it so i just need more of these i'll need more white sources in my mana base to make that happen but that's the changes i need to make okay let's hope my opponent doesn't go off as badly i mean this hand's good again i have binding of the old gods this time that was that was sweet yeah everyone has the, the draws the ancient stirrings into the semblance anvil into a thing okay it's just a talisman and I, over here, can't even draw a third land to save my life. So we have green, black, um, I want red, black, I guess, a red, black canyon slew. Now, any untapped land, we can start chaining, binding the old gods, and that'll be useful. Well, I don't want to kill that, so never mind. Never an untapped land, but I do get to go nature's lore for a forest, or I can grab a tapped plains. And that'll let me Dovin Bond. I don't think I'm going to want a Dovin Bond. I'm going to force into Explore. It just seems so much better to like accelerate myself. Yeah. <laughs> I can't. Oh boy, this deck. It needs some things. My opponent plays Talisman. The hope is that they don't have any follow ups. Because if I can kill Talisman with Binding, they do Bond of Flourishing. Wow, Bond of Flourishing and Ancient Stirrings is some good, uh, good dig. They do hit Metalwork Colossus, and he costs X less to cast, so he costs 4 less right now, so he costs 7 mana. They have 6 cards in hand. I do hit my White Source. I think for the sake of efficiency, we're just going to Binding and kill the Talisman. Then play this. Um, this can then start finding lands and dig us out of this mess, but I think I'm going to save this second Binding for the Colossus most likely, because I'm not going to kill Icar Wellsprings. I mean, I could. But I think it makes more sense to kill the Colossus. Mortar Pod. Okay. So he costs six less to cast now. I don't know what to do, actually. Here. I don't have blue mana. So let's get Rhinewood Forest. I guess it's kind of straightforward what to do. We just play Chandra. I mean, I can kill Mortar Pod. That just seems bad. I just have to hope they don't have, like, three Metalwork Colossus in hand. Chandra's going to kill that and hit Mortar Pod. Oh. That's weird. Okay, I guess I, it's the other Chandra that hits both. That was bad. I should have um should have hit the germ. Then we play this last turn. I guess I maybe want to hit the Mortar Pod. I guess Mortar Pod lets them sacrifice Metalwork Colossus and then like replay it. <laughs> That's quite the combo, actually. Like you play it. I think I'm actually dead. I think I'm supposed to kill the Mortar Pod. Because they cast Metalwork Colossus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow, they had it all. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So they can cast Colossus for one mana. They can't Mortar Pot it though. And then I can kill their Colossus. This actually, it could be worse. The, the problem is they get to two drop another Colossus. But they don't get to cast him. Or explore. I can Death Touch, sure. So now let's kill two, four, five. Yeah, we binding the Colossus. That buys me some time. And then I think at this point we're actually going to Chandra down tech and double explore to just try and hit spells. Okay, land, land, 
Farseek. Getting all this nonsense out of our deck. Do I have double white? I don't. Okay, that's good. So I can grab this so that I... That way I can shatter the sky. Because that's going to be useful. Next turn they can cast another Colossus. And Mortar Pod him at me if they want to. I don't think they can kill me. Uh, no, they can probably kill me. Sleeper Dart. Yeah, so uh, this costs two to equip. So they can play Metalwork Colossus. Sacrifice two Icker Wellsprings to play a second Metalwork Colossus. And then cast it, obviously. So... We're, we are in the draw shadow of the sky game plan now. Oh, am I dead? They have scrap trawler? Wait a second. Can we return an artifact with CMC lesser? I'm super dead next turn. I draw fires, but I don't think I can play fires this turn because if I play fires, then there's no chance of me hitting a fairy and then wishing into a time walk. I also don't have enough blue actually to wish into a time walk either. Man. Yeah, and I don't have the white mana to cast Shatter the Sky. I don't even know if that would get me out of this, but I can't do that either. Draw a card. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we're super dead. Bloodborne GG's. Um, yeah, that's unfortunate, actually. So this deck, it's hard to tell whether it was bad draws or bad deck building. I think it was a bit of both. I mean, you're never going to be so unlucky you lose every game. But I never really drew Fires of Invention turn four. But the thing that really bothered me was I never really cast four drops on turn four. Like, or turn three, I mean. Because I would always, like, have three lands and then not draw a fourth land in time to play something. And that really made me go far behind. I, I don't think I did a single time Fires of Invention into a spell. I don't think this card showed up at all in the early game. So... That part was bad luck, but the bad deck building was me not having more board wipes. Um, having any number of things that could destroy creatures, I think at every stage of the game would have helped tremendously. So I think the core of the deck is sweet. I never really got to like show off the Fey Fires of Invention combo. Um, and that's because I just never got there. So having more board wipes, I think is necessary. Like I could go up to four of these, rework the mana and just run back the same list and probably have much better results because... I can kill the creatures on the board and then Dovin Bond can stay and play and draw me cards and that'll be huge. So yeah, we're, hopefully you enjoyed. I'm going to tune this deck more and hopefully come back stronger than ever so I can actually play cards out of my sideboard. See you guys there.